Hey guys, the Muffin Man here, and I'm just here to share a word with you today. Today we're going to be talking about the stripes of Jesus. And let me just read you a word out of my Bible. It comes out of Isaiah chapter 53, starting at verse 4 and verse 5. And it says, Surely he took up our pain and bore our suffering, yet we considered him punished by God, stricken by him, and afflicted. But he was pierced for our transgressions, he was crushed for our iniquities, the punishment that brought us peace was on him. And by his wounds we are healed. You see, there is power to heal any situation in Jesus' name, whether it be physical or spiritual healing that we are in need of. And the perfect way to, to explain this to you here today is something that we've all seen and maybe we've all eaten before, and it's a zebra cake. You'll notice by the zebra cake, first off, right off the back, it has stripes. Zebras have stripes, but just like zebras, Jesus has stripes too. Whenever he was beaten before the cross, he was beaten and there were stripes upon his back. His back was completely tore up. His skin was not recognizable. He was not recognized as a man. He was so badly beaten. And he could have said, stop, I don't want no more. Please leave me alone. But he said, I'm going to keep going for Jason. I'm going to keep going for you, Amanda. I'm going to keep going for you, Mary. And whoever is watching this video, he kept going for you. And just like this zebra cake, whenever you take a bite of it, it's going to make you ha hunger and desire for more. You're going to want to eat the other one. The same thing happens whenever we come to Jesus. You see, whenever we taste what he has to offer, we're going to want more because it's so sweet. It's the sweetest love. It's sweeter than the zebra cake. And on the inside of us is human blood. But whenever we become one with Christ, we become one with him. To decrease in ourselves and increase in Christ is what we are shooting for what our mission is about now notice if you break in a zebra cake which I'm about to do right now now you notice if you see it on the inside it's not blood but it's cream I find that inside a zebra cake isn't blood but it, it's it's a uh, it's a cream because you know we're just gonna pretend here but you know you take a bite of it and it tastes so good and on the inside it's this cream the inside of the creams gonna represent Jesus's blood and whenever Jesus' blood is anointed over us and poured over us, there's not anything in hell that can tear us down. Any struggle that we go through, any, any depression, any attack of lust, any attack of anger, any attack of envy, any attack of anything, God is on our side. We know in Romans 8.37, it teaches us that we are more than conquerors in Christ Jesus. And, you know, salvation is the key to all of these things. We ask Jesus to be our savior. And that's why I challenge you to here today. Maybe you're struggling and maybe you just need a word of affirmation knowing that Jesus is with you. I wanna challenge you today. Find a quiet place and just say, God, I want you to be my savior. That's all I have for you today, guys. I just wanna challenge you that next time that you see a zebra cake and you take a bite of it, just remember what Jesus has done for you. Do this in remembrance of him and develop that hunger and that desire for more of him the bible says that whenever you eat of his bread you will never hunger again and whenever you drink of his living water you will never thirst again my brothers my sisters i just thank you so much for listening today and i just pray for you god bless and have a great day